Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial, and this one's on dictionaries. So we got dictionary, int, string, call it diction, and then etc. Now, when you're first declaring a dictionary, there's some confusing things, so I'm going to go over those. Dictionary, and you look at this and you go t key and t value. Well, what do those mean? Well, it's the type. So types are like float, int. Um, and then d equals new dictionary. Uh, they can also be string, string. They could be all sorts of different things. So yeah, um, I believe you can even do something like object, or actually maybe int object, something like that. Etc. So um, these are just the two types. One is the key and one's the stored value. So the key is how you look things up. So let's look at adding them to your dictionary. So we have a dictionary, diction, and then it's an int and a string. So we have an int here of zero and a string of hello. And we go ahead and say diction.add. And we can also do this with a variable, of course. So i and i.toString. And then how we look it up is value equals. So see how we have a string here in the second parameter? We're using a string because that's what's going to return us to us. So and we put an int in here. So you put the int in, and it returns a string for this particular dictionary. And then as you see, we have a message box displaying value. We also have one displaying the one for i, which is this one here. So I can go and hit uh, run, and then click a couple buttons, and it says hello, and then four, of course, because uh, i equals four. So yeah, I um, hope that helps you understand how to use dictionaries now, and um, let me know if there's any questions you have on this, and I'll see you guys later. And that's the end of my tutorial.